Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial. And this time I will do a little follow up to one of my older videos which was about sound. And this is basically just an add on so you understand the whole concept of audio and audio groups which is kind of important. And well, I'm just gonna completely spoil it up front. Audio groups have basically just two functions. First of all, volume control for a whole group. So you can set a group and then you can mute it or decrease or increase the volume. And the second one, you can load and unload them to well have more control over them, how much memory you are using. So basically you don't run into some well memory issues where you just completely overload the game with lots of stuff in your memory, which is not supposed to be there or which is just clocking up the memory for no apparent reason. So let's get right into the good stuff and I will completely skip my intro. So this is one up indie. Hello. Welcome here. And well, sub to me, uh, share my stuff and leave me a comment if you like this kind of tutorial or maybe not. Let's get right into here. Just so you understand what's actually happening here. Those first two um, numbers here are just representing how much volume or gain this first sound file and the other one have. And for example, once I change it, bam, because I changed the whole group, both of them get the same absolute value, which is kind of important because once you overwrite it, then all of them which are in the group become or get the same, well, volume which can be a thing which you maybe don't want but still it's a very, very neat and handy way so for example i click as you can hear it's quite loud and every time i decrease it bam 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 the sound gets less so this is a good thing so if you have seen my last video there are different ways how you can set your gain and gain is just another word for volume so here i just have audio sound volume gain so this guy here and then i changed only one sound between a value between zero and one so one is full and zero is basically nothing then if you want to increase or decrease it then you can have a timer put in here but if you just go in with a zero value then it's instantaneously changed to that gain or volume the same you can do for a audio group but if you're just talking about audio groups, then you may be thinking, wait a minute, but what are audio groups? Do, you, do I have them? Do I need them? Well, what you do, you just go under tools, audio groups, and therefore you already have an audio group at the very start, which is the audio group default. And this one is kind of important because at the very start, all your sound files, which you have well created here, are being listed here and they're getting all of them preloaded. So once, for example, you run your game and you just play one sound or music or whatever, then it instantly works because they are being preloaded. And what you can do, you can just split it up in different categories. For example, I just have, you can just go add new. So you add a new group. And then for example, I have one already, which is called audio group sound, but you can call it whatever you like. And there are most of my sound files, as you, as you can see. And of course you can add other ones here or for example you go into my sound which you heard at the beginning so this is the, the cling 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 sound then you just set the audio group to one of those guys here and for example once um well i have my audio files those guys here so the sound files in the other group and i didn't preload it then I wouldn't hear anything. And therefore you just do one thing. So this is this guy here. You say audio group load. Then the audio group you want to load and therefore you now have control what you want to have in your room. And for example, maybe you want to unload it because it will still stick around. Therefore, for example, uh, let's say room end, you can say audio group unload and then it's getting kicked out of memory, which is kind of important. So this is one way, for example, you separate your audio files in different kind of groups. For me, this is good enough to have sound and music because my sound files are very, very small and this won't be having a huge impact. But if you have like high quality 
um, mp3s put in then maybe your file size is a little bit bigger and then you maybe have to think about separating and loading and unloading groups or single ones and here so you understand what, what was happening at the very start I just had this uh, variable which I call sound volume and once for example I press up or down I increase it or decrease it and then put this variable into well the audio group which I just say audio group set gain so set the volume and bam this is how you can do it and here we come into the last issue and then basically this video is completely over um, uh, this enter level which you heard at the very start has a start value of 0.3 because maybe you set it up like me at the very start but then we run into a little issue which I'm going to show you now and therefore maybe it's not the best idea always to do it like this so for example here now we need to kill that because I reset seconds let's start it again so basically what's happening the first this sound file the sound snd enter level has a value of 30 percent and therefore it's a little bit muted for, for example as you can hear it's a little bit muted but once i change the whole group everything is getting completely kicked and they get all the same value so this is the first sound file and this is the second one as you can see if you don't want that um that everybody is kind of um, well changed the same then maybe you need to do it in a different approach you cannot do it through a group but maybe you run a script where you just have the audio sound gain and then you play around with relative values which are stored in here and then added relative values but this is not part of the tutorial this is just a quick and dirty approach and um, and for most guys and people this will be just completely okay to do it like this set the, the whole gain and uh, the whole value for the whole group and then you're pretty much fine so just to summarize it once again two core functions one to load and unload so you have better control over your memory and don't run into memory issues so you're not overloading the game with lots of well sound files then the other one just basically getting control and setting volumes so that was pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed it have a good one one up indie